bank branches are shutting down across the board. U.S. infrastructure is collapsing. There's this viral video right now of this woman talking. She's a Canadian, by the way, but, you know, we're close enough, neighbors. She's talking about how she wanted to get a salad and some ribs, and oh, it yeah. was it was $45, and she yep. was shocked. Yep. Now, I think one of the problems here is that she blames the grocery store for the high price, which <laughs> is like... That's like a Trudeau issue. But... Yeah. Now that's She's Canada. There. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want everyone to understand. There's another viral video that uh, um, I I, uh, I think I recorded this for Friday, so I don't think it's up on my channel yet. But it's a guy comparing uh, uh, prices from Costco a year on, and it's like the cost of rice has doubled, the cost mm -hmm. of mayonnaise has doubled, the cost of beans has doubled, and he's like, "Yo, they're saying inflation's only a couple percent. All of the food staples, chicken, yeah. the prices are up seventy five hundred percent. You spend another hundred billion dollars. We don't have that money. Well, and it's not just printing off more money, which we've been consistently doing through the Inflation Reduction Act mm -hmm. and all the other trillions of dollars that we've been spending um, because of Joe Biden and the Democrats and what they've been doing in Congress. Secondarily to that is you have to remember part of this is what does how does food travel? How does it get to you? It gets to you by truck. It gets to you by what are those powered by fossil fuels, fossil fuels, right? And what are the Democrats trying to stop the production of things like oil, gas, coal, things of that nature. So they've created essentially artificial scarcity in the marketplace around things like oil, mm. which then creates, a, look, the demand is there, supply and demand, the supply is high, uh, or uh, pardon me, the demand is high and the supply is low because of the artificial scarcity and the regulations they put into place around the fossil fuel industry. So to be able to transport those items, it's a pass through cost. It's gonna go down to the consumer. Mm -hmm. It's going to always hit the consumer. It's a hidden tax. You all are paying right now for this war on the fossil fuel industry, literally at the grocery store. It's all part of the inflation that's happening. It's not just all the money that they're printing, but it's also what they're doing in the energy industry, which literally transports everything that you buy. When I was well, in that, oh, sorry, when I was in California, it was seven dollars for a gallon of unleaded gas. And it all started when Biden shut down the Keystone Pipeline. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you can, you can actually right you can actually look at the moment when Biden is inaugurated, not even the election, and right. you can see like an inversion in wages and inflation. Mm -hmm. And people are like, "Oh, it's not Joe Biden's fault; it's Trump's fault because they're his policies rolling into effect." It's like, no, 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 no. You can actually, I think it was like Wall Street Journal showed this graph, and it's like it just flips yep. as soon as he starts signing these ex executive orders. And people are asking, "How did shutting down Keystone cause gas prices and prices to skyrocket when Keystone wasn't even transporting oil?" These are people. I'm sorry, they're first order thinkers. And this is what happens when you get a woman who's like, I blame the grocery store for the high prices. Right. These right. people don't realize, here's what happens. Keystone is being built to transport oil from Canada into, uh, in, through the U.S. and then it goes south down uh, to the Gulf or whatever for transport and distribution. This means that when you're looking at the market futures, you're like, okay, do we have enough supply for demand? Well, Keystone's been shut down, which means we are now going to fall short of supply with demand increasing. Mm -hmm. Prices are going to go up. Then what happens? People are buying, saying we better buy now, which causes prices to drive straight up. Yes. Now your gas costs more money because Joe Biden is negatively impacting the entire uh, industry and infrastructure. And then we tapped the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Drained it. Drained that. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, we drained that one. It's like, I I, I, just, I remember look, watching look, look. that happen and I was just like, stop doing, stop doing that. <laughs> yeah. Stop and now, it. And, 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 and I just want to point this all out and loop it all back into a nice little bow. All of the things Joe Biden did have put us on the path for total annihilation if it comes to uh, international warfare. 